Meet a man who has harnessed technology to help shoppers looking for clothes that fit their bodies perfectly. Uh, my name is Suran Gunathilaka. I'm the co-founder and chairman of Bodymetrics. At Bodymetrics, what we do is we scan your body and make perfect fit in jeans. And also we allow you to see yourself virtually and try on garments in virtual reality. And if you want to sell jeans, there is no better place than London's Oxford Street, the largest clothing retail centre in the UK. 70% of women can't find jeans uh, that fit them. On average, a woman tries on eight to nine pairs of jeans. Hi, well, have you heard of body metrics before? It's made to measure jeans. So what you can do here is that you can get yourself scanned and then actually virtually see how you look like in different pairs of jeans. You can meet one of our consultants who will meet and greet you and then they'll take a whole bunch of you know, details down in terms of where you want your garments to be sent and so forth. Telephone number. And then you get scanned. So this is a scanner. So basically if I take you in here, the first thing you need to do is get completely undressed and then you step in here. So I'll show you, you do this, grab these two and that's really all it is to it. All right, are you ready to do that? Okay, sure. So I'll let you alone. I'll close this down. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the scan. The scan is about to start. All right, let's go. body scanning process takes about five to seven seconds and then we, we automatically take about 200 measurements off you from that process. So these yeah. are all my measurements? These are all your measurements, exactly. And using those measurements we actually make tailor-made garments. So we feel like perfect fitting garments based on those measurements. You can see here. So what this enables you to do is actually to do remote shopping, to do remote online shopping and to do online shopping with confidence. Because one of the biggest barriers for online shopping for clothes is that 25 to 40% of all garments are returned because of size. Bye. Now here, actually, the customer will be able to say, get scanned in, 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 in Selfridges in London, go back to Mumbai or to Delhi, and actually virtually try on the different garments from the different brands, and actually order online, and with the knowing the confidence that actually they're gonna fit them. But this is serious business, rather than science and technology, isn't it? No, this kind of technology can be used to make better fitting safety suits, fighter pilot helmets and athletes' shoes. Think where the science began. Academic research leading to product innovation, trials and only then business. And in this case, all being harnessed for the cultural industries, not the traditional science-based areas. The original technology for body metrics came out of a large research project at University College London. What we increasingly try to do is to marry technology talent with actually management talent. Coming out of a London Business School, which is one of the world's leading management schools. What I've tried to do is also try and take that same model and actually apply it in the creative industries, in another area of the creative industries, I should say, which actually is in designer fashion. So my prediction is in the 21st century, some of the largest and most exciting luxury brands are going to come from places like China and India. And I believe uh, one of the best um, contenders for the, the first super luxury brand of the 21st century is actually a brand called Manish Arora. Uh, Manish is a designer who uh, now shows in London. He's part of an initiative called the Center for Fashion Enterprise that I co-founded and I chair. And I believe you know, he has all the chance of becoming a huge global luxury brand of the 21st century and arguably the first um, example of, of, to, of to set that trend uh, of a designer coming from India. Inspiring. Science is having an effect in all areas of lifestyle if you look hard enough. But is it going to continue? I see your science and technology in a healthy state. 
I see it particularly strong in the UK, where barriers are being crossed and innovation is happening across many areas of technological development. Suran is the kind of new entrepreneur in Britain that is making a difference, bringing science and business together. Britain has always been, I think, um, arguably the most creative place you can ever think of. You have access to so many different communities, so many different cultures, the fashion industry, the advertising industry, the biotech industry. There's something about the amazing educational system, both in the technology area as well as in the science and design area, which makes Britain amazing. Britain has had a tradition in the past of actually not converting those discoveries into companies, or if you like, not, uh, not um, reaping the, the commercial rewards of those, which were traditionally done by the Americans and, and, and the Japanese, for example. But I think that culture is changing. Now we know how to raise money, we know how to put management teams together, we know how to market our product. So I think for the first time you have a generation and an infrastructure where actually you can create amazing companies and actually go global. I've really enjoyed this exploration. Good. It's been a celebration of a future living that is full of opportunity and adventure. Just one thing missing though. What's that? Just the travel and the parties. Bye 2020. Goodbye. <laughs>